What is up everybody? It is Drake here with another ATM video for you guys. I hope you guys are doing well today. I myself am having an early day. It is uh, 6.48 in the morning on Sunday, the day before holiday. So yes, ATMs do need a little bit of help. I actually did pre-plan the event uh, to not have to fill this weekend, but one of my hotels does have a fault on the ATM, so I'm gonna go check that out. And then uh, one of my laundry mats, actually, I noticed uh, it hasn't had any transactions in four days, and it's actually a pretty decent location. I usually do um, five, six transactions a day. So I wanna make sure to check out that ATM as well so I don't have to worry about it all day on Sunday for people trying to do their laundry, and I don't have to worry about it tomorrow, which is Monday, the holiday. So I'm gonna go check out those uh, two ATMs. I actually am going to check out uh, the cleanliness of that ATM as well in the laundromat. Uh, the last time I filled it, I noticed uh, what looked to be some rat crap actually on the ATM cassette uh, where I put the money. There was, uh, looks like some droppings on the actual cassette and uh, I wanna make sure to clear that out and I'm gonna check the whole ATM as well to make sure there is no uh, family of rats or mice living in the ATM. I have heard of a family of rats living in an ATM and as the ATM kicks on to dispense money, a rat gets sucked up into the belt and it's quite a mess. Yeah, not too appealing and definitely not something I want to deal with when I'm trying to fill an ATM or have a call that says, hey, your cash is covered in blood. Why? I definitely don't want that call. So I'm gonna go check that out after that. I'm hoping it'll be around uh, 8.30 or so I'll be finished and then I'm gonna continue on to the gym to get my early, uh, early morning gym session in. So first stop is the hotel. Let's go check it out. All right, as you see here, the error code that we're getting is C0047. This error code actually just has to do with the dispenser. There was some sort of an issue going on when the ATM was used trying to dispense the cash. Luckily in this case, all it was was a simple misfeed. So I just uh, took the cash out of the reject bin, put some more cash in the ATM, reset everything, and it was really easy. So nothing too bad here. All right, so just got done with the first one at the hotel. Luckily that one is A-OK. -okay. Now to the laundromat. This is the one with the uh, the wrap crap in it, or what I presume it is, I'll show you, and you be the judge. Let me know in the comments if you do think it's rat stuff. <laughs> so I'm gonna clean this ATM. I just wanna quickly show you guys what I have in terms of uh, cleaning supplies. Simple Clorox wipes. They're not gone anymore. They're not uh, extinct like they were two years ago. I got a microfiber cloth, which uh, allows me to keep the dust and grime away from the machine. I have some hydrogen peroxide. Just kidding, it's actually rubbing alcohol. But the hydrogen peroxide slash rubbing alcohol works actually really well to clean up uh, like Sharpie marks, pen marks, different things like that. And then I have a, a new abrasive brushes um, to help clean up anything. I don't think this one is that bad, but we shall see once we get in there. Um, also, since it really hasn't had a transaction in I think four days now, uh, I wanna take a look at it to make sure that it is still running properly and nothing is holding up the machine. The internet seems to be working fine. Um, we just haven't had any transactions. So maybe it's just been slow a couple days, but I definitely wanna check it since uh, today is Sunday morning and it's gonna be a busy day in the laundromat for the ATM. And then tomorrow is uh, Memorial Day, so it's also gonna be busy as well. So I wanna double check those. So let's go, come on for the ride. So as it stands, the ATM is clean, as you could see, and uh, I do think it was some rat droppings. Luckily, no nests or anything were found, which is a good thing. But the main issue that we have, actually, is the ATM is still inoperable. Since the ATM hasn't been used in three or four days, everything seems to be working fine, except when you put in a card. 
So what I always try and do whenever a machine is having issues or seems to be having issues, I'll just check it with a inquiry and I'll just put in the wrong password or the wrong pin code. That way it actually doesn't run anything, but it allows me to see that transactions are processing or at least it was attempting to process online. So that shows me that the internet is working, the card reader is working, everything's working. Um, except in this case, it is not. When I try and stick in a card with a chip, I get an error that reads, uh, this card has a chip, must keep it in. Now, usually when we use a chip, uh, it'll actually lock the card in the machine, but it is not doing so, and there's no clicking or anything going on on the key card reader. So, lucky me, I did not bring my tools, my actual tool box, what I did is I just bought some cleaning supplies because that's all I thought I was going to be needing is cleaning supplies. But in this case, that isn't it. Uh, so of course I had to do a quick Walmart run. I got a really small screwdriver. The screwdriver that I had is a six inch screwdriver, but I need something a little smaller. So I got this little deal here, and then I also got uh, an air canister to maybe blow uh, dust out or something that might be stuck in the, in the key card reader. So now that we have these tools, uh, it is 8.42 now, uh, about two hours after we started, and not quite finished, but we're almost there. Hopefully we can get this ATM up and running ASAP. Let's go. All right, so as you guys can see here, I'm just uh, unscrewing the... Uh... The little screws there to allow me to open up the ATM a little bit more allows me more access to unscrew the actual key card reader. Now, why did I need such a small screwdriver to actually fit uh, to actually fit the screws to the key card reader? So yes, I definitely needed a little bit of a smaller screwdriver. I won't make that mistake again, though. I'll be bringing them every time. Oh. What did I see here? What did I find? Give it a little tap, 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 roo, and bam! A penny comes out of the key card reader. Joy, yes, a penny. At least I got a free penny out of it. Now I'm just reversing the steps, putting the key card reader back into the spot. And then here in a second, once I'm done, I will go through, tighten up the bolts, and then I'll actually do a test transaction. As you can see here, it is reading the, it is reading my credit card a little bit better, which is a good thing. And I'm gonna go through, agree to the terms, and yes, I get a receipt. Everything is working a-okay. I'm definitely happy. All right, so we made it. And what was it? A flipping penny that was stuck in the, uh, the key card reader. Unfortunately, in laundromats, uh, there's a lot of change around, and a lot of the time, you'll find quarters or pennies or nickels or something jammed in those slots. Uh, honestly, it didn't even cross my mind when I was doing it, because uh, everything seemed to be working fine, until my credit card that I tested with got stuck. So that's what made me think that there was something actually in there. So we were able to fix it, and now on to the gym. I hope you guys have a beautiful day. Hope you learned something. Keep grinding, keep hustling, keep striving for more every day, just like it's Monday. Until next time, guys. Later.